this and you choke on it, that's your problem, not mine. Very day classe. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. I'm the Real Andy of Everybody Hills. Guys, I have some sweet tea for you, but before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. Do it right now. It really helps me a lot. We are on the race to 15K, so if you are new and you want to join the Everybody Troop, the only thing that you need to do is subscribe, 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 and hit that notification bell. Okay, so sweet tea, we're talking about Southern Charm, right, guys? And John Pringle, has decided to come out and slam Madison LaCroix defending Austin Crow. So what do we know? So let's separate the show for what, what, what we know right now, okay? We know that Austin and Madison, they are not together anymore. Finally, finally, because they were like, the actual definition of a toxic relationship is a picture of those two, seriously. Um, we know that from the show, we know that Pringle was trying to pursue Madison. For now, we know that Madison is not going to do anything with Pringle. Never happened. Uh, she said that it was like over him, like it will never, ever, ever going to happen. And that was that, right? So now that, you know, the hosts are gone, the bros can be friends again, right? So, John Pringle is defending Austin because everything that we have been seeing on the show of how Madison was behaving, um, you know, on the beach party and the day after, I mean, the event after that, basically saying that the way that Madison LaCroix tra treat Austin on and off camera was a horrible treatment and her behavior was borderline abusive. So that he is very happy that Madison, I'm sorry, that Austin is not longer with Madison and is finally moving on with his life. I mean, I for once, I am very happy. Look, I have always said that I cannot stand Madison. Like she, there is something about her. She kind of like reminds me like Naomi or like, those girls who they just want to be in control and like everything needs to be their way or the highway, it just annoys me so much. With that being said, I'm also not saying that Austin is the perfect man because he is not the perfect man at all. He also stresses me so much sometimes. But I do have to say that those two just created such a toxic environment around them. It was this close to mess with all the dynamics inside the group so i'm very happy that they finally move on but yeah madison she was suffering for what was uh, naomi put a name of this like p-e-g something like that like psychotic ex-girlfriend just like that you know like if you are not with me then you cannot be with nobody else but i do not want to be with you it was just so so messy so horrible like i was what is wrong with this girl honestly um and yeah she actually treat austin very bad you know like the whole point of like literally flirt with another guy you know knowing that austin is still in love with Madison, which is the only thing that I do have to say that you can see that Austin is in love with a Madison and hasn't been able to move forward while Madison, it's like, girl, bye, like I'm done. It, it is what it is, you know? It's very hard to pick a side because like I said, I am no 100% an Austin team either. It's just like Madison just get under my skin so much that I, I don't even want her on the show at this point um anyways let me know what you guys think on the comments below are you are, are you watching southern charm because last episode i have to say i i it's like so i don't know they're messing with this whole like you know um catherine being racist and now they're gonna start saying that her relationship is fake and uh, some people are like against it, fans, you know, uh, some people are against Catherine, some people are in favor of Catherine. Uh, I, I, I'm liking Leva, or Leva, I think it's Leva, but she's coming too strong, 
and it's really like um how you say that it's really like um it's not sitting well with a lot of people you know because you can be woke and, and she says that she's she doesn't like cancel culture, but she's acting like cancel culture, like a walking cancel culture. You know what I mean? So if she, to me, if she wants to have a conversation with Catherine about everything that is happening, which is great, you know that I'm all about that. Why is she not having it? Why it's always confrontational? So that part, I'm a little bit, are you doing this just for TV or what are we, I mean, what is, what is your agenda here? Because you are saying that you, of course, support the movement. You are married to a black guy. Uh, you are itself like a person of color, you know, so of course you're going to be promoting this, this movement, the movement. Um, and you said that you don't believe in cancel culture, but instead of trying to talk to Catherine, you know, one on one on a, like a serious matter, no, com in a confrontational way, instead of doing that, it's just like going for the jugular every single time, just because what every every single person is saying around her. Like I haven't seen her having an actual conversation with Catherine about what happened you know it's always in a set of group in a group of people where like everyone just say a bunch of opinions so i don't know i'm i'm very in the middle with this whole season um the only ones that i um, i'm always gonna love is shep and craig honest <laughs> those two are everything for me anyway so let me know what you guys think on the comments below about this whole thing do you think that um Madison was out of out of line um, with this whole situation. Do you think that she was abusive? Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about Southern Charm in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. Check my merch link on the description, and I'll see you around. See ya.